Hello students how are you all i hope all are fine and safe at home children in the previous science class we studied about one of the important basic need that is food and we understood what it do for us and its importance so children i hope you all are taking healthy and a balanced diet to keep yourself strong and fit now we are going to study about another basic need which makes us look smart and presentable it covers our body and protect us from extreme weather condition children can you guess which is this basic need s yes, it is clothes let us learn more about clothes in the chapter fiber to fabric so our third chapter is fiber to fabric children do you know in olden days people were living in jungle and they did not know about clothes they were covering their body with bark of trees big leaves and with the skin of animals as time passed they learned to weave clothes and started using clothes to cover and protect their body in those days stitching was not known people simply draped the pieces of clothes around different parts of their body with the invention of sewing needle people started to stitch the pieces of clothes and started using stitched clothes instead of pieces of clothes for draping their body children do you know from what clothes are made of the clothes what we wear are made of fiber so what is this fiber children to understand what is a fiber let us first discuss what is a fabric what is a yarn and then let us learn what is a fiber fabric is the clothing material means the materials which we use to stitch the clothes are called fabric or simply we can say it is a piece of cloth we use variety of clothing materials or fabrics such as cotton wool silk polyester nylon etc now let us see what is a yarn yarn means a thread fabric is made up of fine threads called yarns children now take a piece of cloth when you look at the piece of cloth it seems a continuous piece right okay now look at the edge any one edge of the piece of cloth you can see fine threads now you just pull out that threads what does this activity tells us this activity tells us that cloth piece is not a continuous piece it is made up of fine threads or yarns now let us see what is a fiber a fiber is a very thin air like strand many air like strands are twisted together and pulled to form a yarn so a yarn is made up of fibers now take a piece of thread keep it on a table hold one end of the thread with your thumb and scratch the other end of the thread with your nails at this end the yarn or the thread splits up into thin air like strands these thin air like strands are the fibers so children now we understood what is a fabric what is a yarn and what is a fiber so we can say now fabric is made up of many yarns and a yarn is made up of many fibers types of fibers there are two types of fibers natural fibers 
and synthetic fibers. Natural fibers Natural fibers are obtained from plants and animals. Example for animal fibers are wool and silk. Example for plant fibers are cotton and jute. Children, wool is obtained from the fleece of sheep or goat. What is this fleece? Fleece is nothing but body air of animals. Okay, wool is also obtained from the air of rabbit, yak and camel. Now, silk. Silk fiber is drawn from the cocoon of a silkworm. Children, you already studied about the life cycle of a silk moth. Now, let us just recall it. Silk moth lays eggs. These eggs hatches into larva or a silkworm. Silkworms continuously feed on mulberry leaves. And grow in size. Next is the resting stage or pupa stage where it doesn't eat or move. It takes rest. At this time it constructs a protective covering called cocoon around its body. Inside the cocoon the silkworm develops into a silk moth. We get the silk fiber from the cocoon of the silk worm. Do you know how the silk fiber are drawn from the cocoons? The cocoons are collected and kept in sun or soaked in hot water. This loosens the silk fiber. By this way we get the silk fiber from the cocoons. Now let us learn more about Plant fibers. Cotton. Take some cotton wool. Pull it apart. What do you observe? We can observe thin strands. These are the cotton fibers. Where does this cotton wool come from? We get cotton wool from the cotton plants. The fruits of cotton plant are called cotton bowls. After maturing, the bowls burst open and the seeds covered with cotton fibers can be seen. Cotton wool is collected and the seed inside the cotton wool are separated by combing. This process is called ginning. Ginning is traditionally done by hands. Nowadays, machines are also used for ginning. Cotton plants are grown at places having black soil and warm climate. In our country, cotton plants are grown in Gujarat, Maharashtra, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Ariana, Rajasthan, Punjab and in Odisha. Next plant fiber is jute. Jute fiber is obtained from the stem of jute plant. It is cultivated during the rainy season. When jute plant is at flowering stage, it is harvested. The stem of the harvested plants is immersed in water for few days. The stems rot in the water. From the rotten stems, fibers are separated by hand. And then these fibers are converted into thread and used to make fabric. In India, jute is mainly grown in West Bengal, Bihar and Assam. It is also grown in Andhra Pradesh and Odisha. This is about natural fibers. Now, let us learn about artificial or synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers are not found in nature, but they are made in factories using chemicals by man. So, they are also known as man-made fibers. Example for synthetic fibers are polyester, nylon and acrylic. So, children, we studied about different types of fibers. 
Using these fibers, we make yarns or thread. The process of making yarn from fibers is known as spinning. During spinning, the fibers are brought together, twisted and pulled to make yarn. The device used for spinning are charaka, which was used by Mahatma Gandhi ji. Then, takli and in large scale, spinning is done using spinning machine. Now, let us discuss how fabrics are made from yarns. There are many ways by which fabrics are made from yarns. In that, two main processes are weaving and knitting. What is weaving? Arranging two sets of yarns together to make a fabric is known as weaving. It is as shown in this picture. One set of yarns are kept horizontally, that is in sleeping line. And another set of yarns are kept vertically, that is in standing line, and woven to get a fabric. Weaving is done using a device called loom. The looms are either and operated or power operated. If it is and operated, then it is called and loom. And if it is power operated, then it is called power looms. Now, let us see what is knitting. The process in which a single yarn or thread is used to make a piece of fabric is known as knitting. It is mostly used to make woolen wear. Knitting is done by hand using knitting needles. Usually, we use two needles to knit a cloth. It is as shown in this picture. It can also be done by using machines. Okay children, so now we understood that from the fibers we make yarns. From the yarns we make fabrics. So this is about fiber to fabric. Thank you children.